Welcome to take two of the Sorry Mum podcast, episode five. Um, yeah, we had an issue uh, with the first recording. Uh, me mic was playing up. Who knows if it's going to happen again? Um, let's pray that it doesn't. Um, I think it's crossed. Yeah. Um, yeah, not a whole lot planned for this episode. Um, just kind of talking whatever comes to us, really. Just whatever's good. Um, most episodes, we have a bit of structure behind them. Not like the... Um, not where we rehearse it or anything, but we have like topics we'll talk about. Not really today. Um, so yeah, we're just cruising. Um, first mm. things first, you hit 150 subs the other day. You're at 170 or something today. Um, yeah. Yeah, bro. Growth. Yeah, fucking good. It's insane. Like um, the the growth of the channel and since the subscribers and obviously viewer amounts as well yep. is absolutely crazy. So I think I'm averaging like, uh, let me pull up my channel really quickly. But I think it's around 50 views per video or, yeah. or around that at least. The, uh, amount, of, the amount of growth uh, from when you got consistent and were like really kind of knuckled down on it. Because there was like, mm. well, I don't know what you were thinking, but like I noticed um, as an outsider, you kind of just picking it up really. Because like you always uploaded, mm. but it was kind of like once every couple months here and there, here and there. Mm. And mm. then just one day you just started uploading consistently and fuck the subs came. I remember um when you started uploading consistently you're sitting at about 50 and yeah. that would have been a few months ago a couple months ago bro um, I, you'll be shocked 50 was three weeks ago oh bro that's fucking crazy three weeks ago oh, no, four that, weeks ago now yeah. sorry that 69 oh, so subs video i remember that like it was nothing the video of you being shrek or whatever yeah that was done one month ago that's absolutely insane like yeah to get to where we are and obviously like we're not a million subs and nothing like that, but we're obviously growing at like a rate where I could see us hitting like a thousand subscribers within, you know, a year or so. Um, yeah. Because I think once you start to kind of go down that slope of like gaining subs consistently, yeah. it, it becomes a lot easier to kind of get them. Because uh, yeah. as bad as it sounds, no one really wants to sub to a channel with like 20 subs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even if the content's awesome, it's yeah. just a bit like, oh, this guy, like, mm. Yeah. Yeah. So I think us gaining subs the way we are, and especially in, not only on the Jay Tony channel, but also on the Sorry Mum podcast channel, yep. which is already on 50, and we've only uploaded six videos. Yeah. Absolutely fucking madness. Um, yep. and so, like the, yeah. And so, yeah. The views aren't huge on the Sorry Mum podcast channel either, but um, obviously Jared's promoting it a lot on his channel. And the few people that are watching on the Sorry Mum podcast are enjoying it enough to sub. So, like, our view to sub ratio is crazy. Like, we're gaining subs really fast on that channel and um yeah it's amazing to see and um yeah it's a bit like um that jim carrey video that we kind of shared around a little bit when he's does that speech on kind of taking a chance on doing what you love i feel like it's really mm. relevant in this conversation mm. especially for you considering you are quite successful with your work and as a person at the moment and um of course that's never going to go away um and like youtube's just a side hop of you side hobby as of now but who knows um it's never say never for attitude justin bieber quite um bro, oh, bro youtube could if you work hard enough youtube could be your career one day there's no reason and who fucking knows mm. this podcast could go to the point where we're bringing in sponsors and um, making enough money to kind of make it our jobs as well you never really know i reckon and that's the goal yeah. i mean it, it, some people get shy of being like no no that's my goal i don't want to i, I want to be a professional content creator and they get kind of scared of saying that but it's like that's our goal and I, in a yeah. way that's kind of always been your and i goal um from, from the first time we met each other we met each other from making content which is insane to me so yeah. you know we're here we're still doing content completely different from where we were yeah. um in the sense of content uh, like what kind of content we're making, but we're yeah. still making it. And I mean, another thing I want to add to the Sorry Mum podcast, like, yeah, we don't get that many views on the YouTube channel itself. Each one of my videos, first video I upload on my channel, 180 views, yeah. 74 views, 50 views, 47 views. So yeah. it's like, these are all the same videos you're posting on the Sorry Mum podcast channel. You know yeah. what I mean? So cunts are still watching it. 50 people, 170, 74 people are still watching it just yeah. on my channel. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And in every, in the link of every, every video, the hiccups all of a sudden. In the link of every single, or description of every single video I post, there's a link to the channel. So, yeah. Um, as well as it's on my featured channels, things like that. So, is it on that? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, it's just like, 
we're going to grind on this. And regardless of the views on one yep. specific channel, because we have so many outsourced different ways of getting viewership in, yep. uh, I, I look at it as a whole. Like, it's not just like that, the views on that video got six views or whatever we've got. Yep. But that video got six views plus mine got 170 views. So it's 176 views. Yeah. You know what I mean? And when you That's where I look at it. Yeah. And when you think of 176 individual people, um, mm. that's cra- it's a crazy number. I know, obviously, I don't know if you've got, 50,000 subs in your average and I don't know 5,000 views a video or whatever um mm. 176 subs might seem like fuck all but if you fucking break it down and think of 176 individual people um mm. it's a lot of people and that's the same with your YouTube channel you had 171 three something 171 like yeah, yeah, yeah yeah 171 individual people have clicked subscribe on your channel so um yeah it's crazy yeah no without a doubt and and another thing as well First video we uploaded got 24 likes. Yeah. Um, like specifically the Will Ferrell video got 10 likes. Um, then the episode three got 21 likes. Yeah. Uh, and that was out of 47 views. 21 likes out of 47 views is a fucking good like to view ratio. Yeah. Yeah. So fuck, I want to. Yeah. I've spoken to you about it in the past. I really do want to make um, content on YouTube for my own personal um mm. youtube channel but i don't know what to fucking do because i'm not like necessarily a big gamer mm. and that's all i can kind of really think of doing really uh, i mean yeah it's it's tricky because it's like you're in a lockdown right now yeah so really you can't be like oh, i'm gonna go do a vlog where it's like come with me as i go like do this or do that throughout my day just yep. inside but it's like i've mentioned to you people who don't know cooper's a big like gym individual he, he, he goes yeah. to the gym a lot he's, he's been really consistent which is really great to see um so it's like you could do videos on that man like yeah i mean if, if you yeah. guys want to see cooper do gym videos or whatever you think cooper would be entertaining to watch drop that in the comments let him yeah. know motivate this guy because thank you um i think this would be really good for him and it's a great escape and it's, it's something that's helped me a lot as well mentally yeah um you know, because I do work in the end of the day, I do work a, a nine to five job, yeah. um, you know, and it's a, it's a pretty high stress environment that I work in. So it's like when I have these shit days and busted my ass all day, yeah. I come home and I can get on stream and I can talk to seven people with or seven people at a time. Then people leave, come different new people come through and I'm talking to people, people yeah. from my stream are coming to play with me. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, it's just crazy because that's kind of where the love for it comes from. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because it's like you, you've got a community and that's something I've always said. And I've said to you a million times, my community is, it's not massive, but it's fucking solid, man. Yeah. Like yep. the people here are just great people. Uh, yeah. And that's all, also a good thing about having, obviously everyone would prefer to have um, more subscribers. And when you go, cause you are growing and will grow um, to bigger heights soon. I know for a fact, you're going to remember those people that were there at the start. So your mm. Shelly's, your toxics, your all them um but that's the thing about having a smaller audience or like a smaller subscriber base is like it is a tighter knit community a bit like a small school and a big school small school everyone yeah. knows everyone so um yeah like even not to the same extent but even in streams um when there's a few um people on i'll be having in the stream conversations with a shelly or a, a so it's like the communities interacting with each other and not just you so it's it yeah, truly exactly. is like a small school where everyone's tight knit compared to a big school where there are big tight knit groups, but it's so much more spread out. So it's not really as noticed. Um, mm. Yeah, no, it's good. Uh, it's good shit. And um, yeah, I'm proud of you yeah. and I'm proud of how far we're getting. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. But, you know, and, and, and like I've had these moments as well where it's like, um, I think I shared that clip with you. I don't know if you were in the stream at the time, but there was a, a person in my stream, I won't mention who they are or anything like that um who was uh, a bit depressed uh yep. they were facing some some issues at home things like that and they came to my stream uh, stream and they spoke to me about it uh in the chat they were saying they weren't eating things like that it wasn't healthy um and i was playing cod with ben at the time i'm i got off the i muted ben for a minute and i just had that one-on-one chat with this person yeah um and that what i said i think was one of the most mature things i've ever done in my life um in the sense of the way it was handled things like that mm-hmm. obviously not here trying to toot my own horn so i saved a life or anything like that but you know and, and to know that that person still most times i stream comes into that stream yeah i don't i'm not gonna again it's not me saying that if i didn't say what i said and that'd be you know what something might have happened but they came to my stream every single week every yep. single week after that 
So something I said must have helped, or at yeah. least I hope it helped. Yeah. Um, yep. And that's kind of that was one of the proudest things I've ever done as a YouTuber. Yeah. Hitting 100 subs, hitting 50 subs, hitting 171 subs that I'm on right now. That's fucking awesome, and I love yeah. that. Hitting a you know 600 views on a video, that's great as well. Love doing that. But if I can help save somebody or or help get somebody out of a dark place, that's going to be something I'd do a million times over. I'd rather do that yeah. than get a hundred uh, a million subs. Yeah. It's just, I, I yeah. It's just yeah. something I love, man. Yeah, so. 100%. Um, yeah, was there something I did mention at the start of the podcast that we didn't really have a whole lot to talk about today? Um, mm. We'll find stuff to talk about. Um, Bro, we've, al- we've already been talking for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. I will, it doesn't really say on Zoom how long you, you record for, but who knows? Yeah. It's been a little while. Um, is there anything you want to talk about? Um, let's talk about... So Cooper is obviously not going to say where he lives. Uh, yep. Check it. It's one, two, three, four, uh, <laughs> Bridgman Road. Uh, no, but but um, so basically Cooper's in the New South Wales area in, in, in Australia. Yep. Uh, so yeah, not to dox you or anything. Um, so he's at the moment in a lockdown. Um, so we were, I'm in Queensland, uh, the Gold Coast specifically. We went to a lockdown for about 11 days. Yeah. Uh, now that lockdown ended pretty quickly. Cooper has been in a lockdown. Well, not Cooper himself, but New South Wales has been in a lockdown for quite a while. Yeah. Uh, so how are you feeling with all this this lockdown talk and, and everything? Cooper? Um. Well, yeah, it's not good. It's not ideal considering where I live um, in the Northern Rivers of New South Wales. It had one case and then he, I don't know where he went. I uh, must've got over it and we haven't had a case in ages, but motherfuckers from Sydney um, don't know how to stay inside. So we're still in lockdown, 850 cases or something yesterday. Or not yesterday, today. That'll be about a thousand tomorrow, I reckon. Cause there was another freedom March. Mm. Yeah. Not good. Um, I know this is meant to be a comedy podcast. Um, I don't want to get too deep, but the gym like Jared mentioned, I go to the gym a lot and it's a big escape for me, which YouTube is for Jared. It's where I kind of go clear my mind. It's Sorry, there's little kids running outside. Um, where one person would kind of... <laughs> where someone would go speak to a therapist, I'd go to the gym. So not having the gym is kind of... Um, it's shit. Um, I have like a little makeshift gym um, at my house. Um, it's just a bench press or whatever. So I'm still working out, but sucks to not actually get to that gym environment. Um, can't do my physio for my knee properly. I can do shit at home again, but it's still not the same. So yeah, it's um pretty shit, but it is what it is. I went for a walk today and um, I was walking through the streets and it was so dead and bare. And I was thinking, fuck, this shit doesn't seem real. Like mm. it just seems like something you like, imagine if someone told us that this is what was going to happen in 2019 at the end of 2019, before, before the COVID memes and shit. Um, mm. If someone said, Fast forward two years and the streets are going to be bare. Everyone's going to be wearing masks everywhere. Everyone's like, I coughed today in the shopping center. I'm not sick at all. I just um, had something in my throat or something. And I just went, <coughs> kid you not, like six cunts fucking stare at me. I swear coughing in public now is worse than farting in public. You just, you can't. because Bro, it- I, I would rather have someone shit in my face in public than have someone cough on me in public now. Yeah. And I hate it. Like, yeah. and I'm the exact same. The amount of times that I have just something in my throat. I remember I was at a Japanese restaurant the other night. Uh, just taking my missus out to to eat, and um, I had this cough, and I was like, <clears throat> "Yep," and I just went, "All right, fuck it," and I just coughed into my arm, and every cup was just like, "Yeah, yeah," it's good. and I'm like, "Chill," I'm like, "I just had something in my throat," like, "Yeah," but it's also like I've never been COVID tested, neither, never once. I've never gotten a test, so I could have it. Yeah. Um, uh, now I know I don't know if you're super keen on announcing publicly whether or not you're vaccinated or not. Um, um, but what do you? Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. Um, I'd spoken to you about getting vaccinated, and I was meant to get vaccinated. Mm, um, I'm just gonna wait to the Pfizer. Um, the AstraZeneca. Realistically, I would have been fine if I got it, but I don't really necessarily need to be vaccinated. Um, I'm going to to um get the world back to normal eventually. Um, mm-hmm. so I will take my part in getting vaccinated, but I don't want to put the AstraZeneca into me. I'd rather wait for the Pfizer. I think it's smarter. Um, and I was booked in to get the AstraZeneca and everything. I pretty much bailed out in the last hour. So, Oh, um, really? 
Yeah, they weren't too stressed. I'm pretty sure that the amount of cunts that probably were getting vaccinated that day, like that would have just filled me in with someone else, just let someone else get in earlier. But um, yeah, I'm I'm not going to get the AstraZeneca. I'm just going to wait till the Pfizer. Who knows how long that's going to be? I should probably book it soon. Um, but yeah, I think, look, if you're an anti-vaxxer, cool. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. As long as you don't um, shove it down people who choose to get vaccinated throats. And if I look, if you're an anti-vaxxer, just don't go on these marches. Just play your part for now in just staying inside. And yep. then when the world's back to normal, when 80% of the population, or not 80%, like 70%, 60% of the population is vaccinated, cool. You, you're good to go. You might not have as many opportunities as other people because who knows? Maybe you won't be able to travel and shit if you're not vaccinated. I, I don't know. Um, but it pisses me off to kind of see these marches and look, everyone's free to do whatever they want, but I don't know. It, it's kind of, it's just ironic. Like, it's just weird to see them marching about freedom, about wearing a fucking mask. And I don't know if you want to get too into it. Um, I've spoken to you about it a bit in messages, but look at fucking Afghanistan at the moment. Look, they are doing it so much fucking worse. You pretty much mm. asked to wear a mask on your face and you're going to go running around in the streets fucking with cops. Like, I just think it's weird. Yeah, so I am uh, officially booked in yep. uh, to get my vaccination on the 8th of September at 3.05 yep. p.m. So, um, obviously, to not go too deep into detail uh, about things, just because uh, until everything's confirmed, uh, but there is an opportunity where... I might not be in Australia, um, but obviously we have to wait and see how things go with that. Um, might be living elsewhere, things like that. It's just, for me, it's a must um, yep. because it's like <laughs> I've got plans and I've got things I, I want to do. Um, and and I'm, unfortunately, I think the world's going to get to a point where it's like um, no, no, no vaccination, no nothing. Lockdowns yeah, no. will be specifically for people who haven't got their vaccinations. Travel borders will be specifically for people with vaccinations. Yeah, I just think it's going to be the kind of like a a level system where it's going to be like you're vaccinated. Here's a list of things you can do. If you're not vaccinated, you can't do much. Um, yeah, you can do your basic necessities. You still have to wear masks, things like that. I just think that's what the world's going to kind of be like, especially yeah. if the, if COVID doesn't really fuck off. Um, yeah, in, in a sense. But who knows, man? Obviously, yeah. there's going to continue to be riots, um, especially if it becomes more of like a, 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 like I said, a level system or to, I don't want to say the wrong word. Um, I don't want to sound like a, like it's going to be some big like change in like democracies or anything like that. But, um, you know, if it's going to become that kind of like, if you're vaccinated, yep, you're good to do things. If you're not, people are going to get offended by that. People are going to have the shits about that. Yeah. Uh, and there will be riots. Um, yeah. But if you're vaccinated, man, who? Who cares? Join the vaccinated club. If it's a health, if yeah, exactly. Yeah. If, if it's a health reason, I understand it, and there should be. Uh, and I, I, again, I have no doubt in the world that the government will have these systems in place for people who can't for health reasons. Yeah. Um, but if you're just one of those dudes who just, and I hate to say it, but just want to be against, go against the grain of everything. Yep, that's it. Unfortunately, you got to go fuck yourself. Yep. Um, and I'll, I'll tell it to their face. Um, yeah. Hey Jared, if you, know, you haven't got a proper reason, yeah, you're only getting the vaccine because you're a sheep. I am. You're I'm, only listening to the government because you're a sheep. Shut. It comes to say that. Come on. Bro, oh, I, I am um, sheep and balls. That's what I am, bro. Like yeah. I'm just a, a woolly sheep. Um, but <laughs> yeah. can't you actually say that like it's an actual insult. It's like what? It's like no. I just want to live. I just want to go fucking, outside. If anyone's a fucking sheep, it's them. Well, not necessarily, but. They're jumping but that's on what, the That's what makes it feel like they're they're entitled to something though, because they're I'm not a sheep, bro. I don't do I don't yeah. do I wipe my ass, and so does everybody, every single person in this room. Don't wipe your ass, bro. Yeah. Don't I don't want to see you wiping your ass. Don't be a sheep, bro. Don't wipe your ass like the rest of us. Yeah. They Leave your fucking... butthole dirty. <laughs> or huh? they, they all fucking say do your own research. I'm like, what the f I'm gonna listen to scientists in that that I'm gonna put my trust into them pretty much. But I'd rather put my trust into them than some faulty, like this fucking person I know um, that's full on anti-vax and anti-lockdown and mm. shit, um, shares this stuff on their story. And 
It's like, do your own research. And they've gone to a website and screenshotted that, uh, screenshotted stuff from the website saying, I've done my own research. And it's the way, it's not a legitimate it's website. It's like Wikipedia. Yeah. Or not, <laughs> it's like, no, it's not even, it's like a website that's just like made by some simpleton. Like it's got those ads in the corner. It's like, play this game for five seconds, you come. It's, <laughs> it's got, but in a second, we'll get onto some of them fucking ads because that's actually a good topic. Um, yeah, it's got like the tile up the up the front and just nothing. It looks like it was made on Word document. Like it's just not a legitimate website. And I'm just like, this isn't fucking research. Like, uh, is what it right, is. It's like I could make I can go make a website right now and I can so, chuck random bullshit on it. Yeah, that's I could say bad. Cooper's butthole has three moles on it. Is that now <laughs> facts? Wait, well, it is. You have been inside my butthole so you would i have i have it is a fact that was a bad example (laughs) um (laughs) i don't know i don't know if i can say this no i surely say it yeah who's gonna gonna care okay i had a dream i fucked the guy the other night um look i'm not proud of it it. no it was um well now it's gay if it was me it would be all right (laughs) i don't know what fucking why like i'm not it's outside. There's some people that are definitely hearing me talk outside. Um, yeah, it's weird because you fucked a guy in your dream. <laughs> I don't know where it came from. I'm not fucking homosexual. I've never fantasized over it, so I'm like, huh, bro. But... I had a dream the other night, and it was equally as fucked as that. Yeah, it was. It wasn't me fucking a dude, but it was in me. This is, I haven't even told Nicole this story. So if she's listening, she's yeah. like, what the fuck. Um, but basically it was like, I was having a foursome in my dream with like yeah. me, Nicole and like another couple, right? <laughs> and then in my dream, Nicole like gets fucked by this guy. And the second the guy puts the, his like dick in her, it's like the, Nicole like moans in my dream. Oh. And, and I woke up oh. and in my dream, I was like, she doesn't make that noise for me. <laughs> <laughs> and I woke up. And I was cut. Like, I was pissed. <laughs> I almost was like, fucking other dudes. You just while she's still asleep, you just, like, asleep, you just back. Why you, and be while like, she's still asleep, you just pack your bags and fucking move out. Just, Annika. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's what the dream was. I was like, and I had to like, kind of pull myself back and be like, I was actually upset, like on, on the verge, like almost crying. And then I, I was like. I remember you waking up. And being yes. really shitty, you were like, you cheated on me. And I was just I was like, like, what the fuck? I was just like, I was like sitting there and I was like, I had to pull myself back a little bit and go, that was a fucking dream, Jared. Yeah. that's <laughs> That was in your imagination. Yeah. Well, after my dream, I wanted to pretty much kill myself. And um... No, but it's good. I'll, I'll make that dream a reality. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Different dream, Nicole. Different dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Um, you can tell in my dream if you like. The Cooper's fucking dudes in his sleep. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just, okay. Is that good? Sorry. What do you think that means? Like, you know those kinds of like, like predict dreams, like say it means yeah. shit? Yeah. I reckon it means you're a homosexual. You know what I actually think it is? You know how I made that TikTok video about the how many drinks it would take me to get with my mates if they were chicks? I, that yeah. must have been in my head because it was that night. So I'm thinking I was thinking about blo- getting with blokes but if they were chick i don't know look at me making excuses maybe i'm just fucking gay who knows he takes dick yeah yeah Let's well, see, um, can we talk about what you rated me in that video you didn't rate me at all look i didn't want to be a pedophile no but i looked hot look i'm gonna get the fucking photo up and no one can tell me you don't look three years old nicole i don't get, know get nicole back get nicole back no i'm not doing it nicole surely she can hear that oh you're you've got headphones on whoops um fuck photos i'm also upset with you cooper why i've got this fresh cut my g and you haven't even said anything about it i've oh i haven't said on the podcast i fucking said that you're looking real clean nah what do you guys think you guys like the haircut Mm. um let me take the headies off oh a okay let me get me um bro i'm actually really fucking enjoying tiktok and like making tiktoks and that I used to be Same, big, bro. I used to be the biggest fucking hater. Um, but then I also I made it up to you with this video. Wait. Oh, that was a cute video, bro. I saved that shit. 
Oh, it's fuck. me. It is actually it's Jared. I was actually watching Jay Tonic at the uh, at the time while watching TikToks, and it, I kept seeing those. Who got you smiling like that? And I was like, fuck it. I'm going to make a TikTok. Um, I'll quickly get Jared up. Um, and then uh, if you're not following me on TikTok, Cooper Jobson Zero. Um, one sec. Check him out. So this is, J- I mean, I don't even need to show Jared as a bloke, but that's uh, the photo I had. Fuck, I'm sexy, bro. Well, I. That was the same bloke I fucked in my dream, funny enough. Oh. Okay. What, do you got, what did you rate my new Instagram post? You like it? Bro, I fucking loved it. I fucking love that fucking businessman look. Um, so my head's in the corner, but ignore. Um, if you can see, fuck, it's not focusing. Basically, no. I'm a sexy bitch. Is the best way. If you find it. three-year-olds Ooh. sexy, what about that? That's um. Let's get out. Do you reckon that's your best Instagram post? Like I only have two. Look? I thought you had more. No, I deleted them. Oh. Oh, well. Bro, I think wants it, it to be I like one of those you... teenage girls to go fresh, fresh, um, fresh feed or whatever, and they just delete all their Instagram posts and then start again. I'm like, can't no one cares. There's Bro, some I... Instagram. Sorry, sorry to cut you off. Um, there's some Instagram chicks out there that literally that's all they rely on. Like they think there's a few people in this area who think because they have like 5k Instagram followers, they're the bee's knees. And I'm like, can't you're not qualified? You have no job. <laughs> You, you don't have the facilities for that big man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's just um, it gives me the shits. But um, what can you do? They're going to be the right. ones. That are... I'm not gonna lie. I think you've dung- uh, dangled your your mic again, and it's still in that. Bzz, bzz. Is it still doing it? No. Okay. If it starts um doing it again, I'm just unplugging my mic, and we're going through the other one because we're not re-recording this. No, we're too deep. Um, my favorite Instagram post. <laughs> Probably this one. You don't you don't post single photos on Instagram. You need to have a photo selfie. Yeah. Yeah, I need you a bit of a selfies. A thirst trap. I have this one with my with my mates. Got no, but that's with... like a group photo. You can't have group photos. Yeah. Yeah. I actually don't have any of myself. Look at me. That's just that's just the type of guy I am. Um, Bro, when you get Cooper on Tinder, when you get Cooper a bitty, that's what yep. we need to do. Get Cooper a girlfriend. That's the new um, topic of the podcast. Um, Why aren't you on Tinder? I don't know. I kind of feel like it's going to desperate need, desperate levels to get a girlfriend, but I'm at that kind of age where I'm like, fuck, I should probably just get a misser. But I'm also like, I've always had the belief of it, when it happens, like when the right girl comes around, that's, yeah. But then maybe that's, my own wrongdoing because I'm not going out of my way to find a girlfriend. I'm kind of just sitting back thinking, oh, it's going to happen. It'll, a girl will come to me or whatever. So, mm. yeah, I don't know. See, I went to the club last weekend, a couple weekends ago. Mm-hmm. Had a good night. Um, and basically, no bitches came up to me. Not a single bitty came up to me. And you're fucking way better looking than me. So how do you think I'm gonna get bitties? Bro, I'm a I'm see I'm a fat boy. That's my issue. I'm a big I'm a big tubby lad. Um as you can see in my newest Instagram post, look at my belly on it, bro. Oh I don't think you look oh. fat enough. I think you look fucking built. Well, I am built. It is like built. a brick shit house. Bro, I was at work today. Uh, uh, not today. Uh, but the other day. And there's this guy who like works in my office. And he's like, he doesn't talk much. And I've spoken yeah. to him a few times. And then there was one day and he's like, foreigner. Um, yeah. But he was like, I, I looked at him. And I said, bro, you're built like a brick shit house. Yeah. He's massive. Bro, some like, of those. Yeah. Oh, I was shocked. And he showed me like a photo of what he used to look like. He was like Arnold Schwarzer. Bad word. It's like he was he was <laughs> Arnold Schwartz in Nigeria. <laughs> uh, um, but no, I was just like, what the fuck? So that's kind of you know what my the, goal is. Shout out to the cunts that fucking get built and work nine to fives. So I um for a little while was working a nine to five and was still going to the gym after. And then after about two weeks, I was just burnt the fuck out because it was just mm. so much work i was on my feet all day for however many hours eight hours nine hours and then yeah. going to the gym um and then going home and then getting a bit of sleep and redoing it so 
Yeah, yeah. It's working a nine to five, which I'll eventually get back to. I'm not trying to be a slack ass forever. I'm working towards that. I'm studying towards that. Um, yeah, I don't know how cunts can manage the gym and then working and then all this other shit as well. Some also mm. do uni on the side as well. So, bro, yeah. It's, yeah, I mean, I'm not consistent with the gym. And I think a lot of it has to do with because YouTube and work. Yeah. Um, they're not more, or well, work's more of a priority. I can't lie. That's what pays my bills. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. It's it's definitely draining. Like you get home, you get, you finish your day at work, especially finishing nine to five, like five o'clock. It's like you get home. By the time you go to the gym, get home, it's bedtime. Yeah. Then you're in bed and then you, you know, back yeah. to work the next day. Yeah. So it's like, it's really, really tough in that sense. And obviously I'm not a morning person. Well, I say obviously, but I'm not a morning person. I'm not uh, either. Oh, I hate it, bro. Morning I, suck dick. I want to be one of those um, cunts that wake up at 5.30 and go for a run, but it's not happening. I just can't do it. And then I'll be like, oh, Nicole, set an alarm for early. <laughs> I go, hey, turn that shit off. And I go, back to sleep. <laughs> yeah. I'm useless, bro. Yeah. Uh, well, but, um, I, I don't trust cunts that are morning people. Something's not right in their head. Nah, they're I reckon too they've motivated. A cat or two at one point, <laughs> like they've done some fucked up shit. They're like, "Oh, I'm up so early." Like, was there I ever? Been... I don't know if it's a um town thing or like if every there's one in every fucking town. But was there was there ever a rumor about someone in your local town doing some weird shit with an animal? Because like I've lived in three towns, and each town there's been apparently one dog wanker in it. No, there wasn't any rumors around. Yeah. Um, like I did it, but I kept it on the down line. So <laughs> yeah. it didn't get around the town at that point. I was just fucking dogs, but, um, I don't know, man, not bro. <laughs> goose. You ever fucked a goose before? <sighs> bro. Go- Grip goose the meat. Scary. Grip they- the meat. Geese and fucking goose or whatever. They're fucking scary. Have you ever been near them when they got their babies or their eggs nearby or something like that? They'll, oh. um, they'll fucking full on hiss on that. Um, oh, they are crazy, man. No, I don't crazy. trust. I don't trust birds, bro. Uh, um, and we we're moving into an office. My work's moving into an office with like a pond, and yeah. it has geese in it. And it's like, fuck. Bro. I'm, I'm not too keen on birds either. Um, growing up, getting souped by every fucking second plover I saw, and oh, then magpie. Plovers. Bro, plovers or magpies, which are scarier? Because I'm confident in saying plovers. See, I feel like magpies are bigger. They're bigger and they're probably more vicious. Like they'll actually fucking hit you. Plovers will just. I've gotten I've gotten hit by a magpie a few times. Yeah, I've been open. hit in the back of the head. Plovers mm. pretend like they're gonna sweep you, but I'm gonna have to Google this. I swear, plovers have fucking. They have talons or some bullshit, bro. Yeah, they have like little knives on them. Um, they're like an esche. They're like the esche of birds. Uh, esche- were there fucking eshes back in the day, or are they just growing at a rapid rate? No, I feel like they're like rabbits, cunt. They're fucking at a ridiculous manner. Yeah. And they're just popping them out like left, right, and center. I feel like there was... Oh, there were a few eshes at my school. Oh. Um, but they were just called dead shits. Yeah. At, at my school. Yeah. So it's like, like... That's what eshes have turned into. So the, the drop kicks that pretty much just do drugs or whatever and skip school and um, pretty much mean Jared because they're cool. Uh, yeah, exactly. They just now all dress up in a certain way. And um, yeah, um, I'm looking at a plover right now and I didn't realize the talons were that fucking terrifying. Um, should mm. I share screen and quickly show it? Or... Do it, bro. I want to see this shit. Okay. Um, share screen. Um, can you say it? Very shortly. Bro, that's like a little... They're like little hands. Mother... F- they, look, they look like little hands. Oh, that's a pretty shit photo. That's kind of cute, actually. Yeah, to an extent. I would not they want to... They look like fucking... it's there to hug you. Like they're little disabled hands. <laughs> yeah. Um, I w- wouldn't really want to be fucking hit by them. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to say plovers are scarier than magpies. But magpies are probably fucking crazier. Yeah, no, magpies are definitely fucked with the amount of uh, back in my day because I used to obviously live in a, a small town. We'd go to footy fields and the amount of times there was just fucking magpie nests on a footy field, bro. Yeah. We'd be playing a game of footy getting swooped. Yeah. <laughs> bro. What is what is the craziest football field you ever played at? Um, played on one that had like a semi cricket pitch in the middle. Like it, oh. you could tell there was a cricket pitch there, but they tried to put grass over it but i don't know they didn't do a fucking good job so if you got tackled on the halfway point 
you'd pretty much cry. Um, and then it wasn't necessarily crazy, but my local fields literally just fucking a straight away. Um, mm. They were so fucking shit, especially in the winter. Um, cold winter's night. There was a river. Uh, the I'm not going to say which river, but there was a river. And every fucking time, there were trees there, but we'd kick for touch. Nine times out of 10, the ball goes in the river. So some cunt's got to fucking get it. And then you're playing with a wet fucking ball. And the ground yeah. was just fucking rock hard. It was just shit. Um, what about you? Bro, I just sent you a photo on Facebook with the craziest field I've ever played at. This is a field on the Gold Coast. Is this the muddy one? No, not the muddy okay. one. Um, so, oh this, yeah, I remember you showing me that when I when I came up and um went to that game with you. The fucking jet, cunt! You get a fucking good kicker. That fucking jet's getting hit, bro. The amount of times we were playing on that field, and I, I was I'm I'm a big prop at that point. Yeah, I'm I want to put bombs up. I'm trying to hit this motherfucker. Yeah. So to to show the 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 people watching, basically that's it. Let me see if it will focus. I'll see if it will focus on my end it as well. Yeah, there we go. So it's basically a it's a football field with a, an airport like meters down the road. Yeah. So it's like these planes would fly over, and you, once they're over your head, you can't hear shit. Yeah. I'm getting fucking <laughs> orders barked at me by my halfback. I'm going. I'm just going to run it straight, bro. You just you can give me a fucking flat ball. I'll do what yeah. I do. I can't hear what the fuck you're yelling at me to do, bro. Yeah. I can't hear plays right now. I'm just going to crash play. We'll see yeah. what happens. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that was basically what it was, man. It was fucking crazy. Yeah. And then obviously we had that one. Uh, it used to be on my Instagram and I was just covered in mud, bro. Yeah. Um, I did look like a massive unit in that photo too. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, do you know what it is? Fuck, I miss footy. Uh, what was your peak footy days? Like not necessarily when you were the best. It can be when you were the best or mm. just the most fun you've had in a season, what position you're playing, et cetera, et cetera. Bro, my most fun season yep. wasn't even like a club footy or a rep footy season. It was the, uh, well, technically it's kind of rep, uh, Broncos Cup. I was playing the Broncos Cup for schoolboys. Yeah. Bro, the funnest year. Because there's always a few people um, kind of uh, fr- when you play footy, especially rep footy, things like that, that you just like don't really know or you just don't really like they're from other schools and you just don't mm. really know them that well. When you play in schoolboys footy, you know every single cunt. Yeah. It was fucking so much fun, bro. Like we were yep. just, and we would, and we, not to brag, but we were the best team. So yeah. we were killing everybody. So yeah. not only were we playing, I was playing with my, my best mates. Plus, oh, bro, I don't remember scoring a try and like trying to like, this is going to sound so bad, but I was like, I, I like ran over. I was playing, a, I was a winger at that point, but I, I cut under someone and I had to like beat three people, beat three people and I scored a try. And there was this little ginger cunt I like fended to the ground. And I like, as I was scoring the try, I tried to land on the cunt's leg and I did yep. try and fuck his leg up. <laughs> I didn't do it. He was all right. Yeah. But the goal was to fuck that cunt's leg up. And yeah. I was just like, got the ball up, fucking pegged it at him. It was a great time, bro. Yeah. That was, and it was just like, and then you like turn, you know, when you score a try and you like turn automatically and all the boys are just rushing to you. Yeah, That's the bro. best feeling in the world, bro. Yeah. Uh, all the boys were there and I was just loving it, man. We're jumping on each other. It's crazy shit. Yeah. We, we were winning by like 30 fucking eight nil at that point, but yeah, you know, still good yeah. times. Yeah. Fuck what about yourself? Good. Um, probably, I don't know. I think rep weekend was fun. And I'm not just mm. adding this in here to say I played rep. Jared played fucking way more rep than me. But it was fun because it is a weekend away. So you're playing. And it was down in Foster. So um, I'm originally from Tare. Foster's like 20 minutes away. So the rep team I made was six hours north. And I got, mm. it was pretty much like a homecoming. I got to go back down there. I played in front of a lot of family. Um, played in front yeah. of dad it was good and just like the whole week like you go for fucking breakfast as a team lunch as a team you wear the polos yeah. you just rock up to games and you honestly like it's really fuck all because like a lot of players do make rep but you just feel like top shit when you're rocking around with the rep yeah, gear and the that's the best of the best yeah you know um, you know you're better than those cunts any cunts in the crowd watching you're like oh could have been here but you shit <laughs> yeah. So like, yeah um no, that was it and um as for moment um, probably my first try in union. That was a pretty good one. Um, mm. because I knew I was going to score. Like we went through the hands. We had a three on, um, two. So, and I was playing wing that game. So literally all I had to do was fucking catch the ball and then run. 
um, I ran, I had 20 meters to go. So I had time to think of, um, like I knew I was going to score the try unless I fucking pulled the hammy or dropped the ball over the line. And like, mm. I remember just like that last 20 meters feeling like I was running on sand. Like I was running as quick mm. as I could, but I felt like I was running so slow. And then I score in the corner. I do this fucking, I don't dive near the corner post, but I do this like unneeded dive just to look fucking cool, even though there was no <laughs> cunts near me. And then I get up and I do the full fucking, um, I go, I do the, like oh. <laughs> to all my fucking teammates and I was he's fucking, loving it i was fucking pumped up and um yeah all the boys got around me and then um fuck it, it's underrated but you know when the announcer says your name on the on the speaker i like, like that that try yeah. was scored by number five cooper or something like that and then they say your last name it's fucking i don't know look at yeah, me fucking, running out and they'd be like yeah. and number 10 we have jared and then oh, yeah that was just the best feeling yeah. And then, like, I have a fucked last name. Um, I think I've said it on the podcast before. My last name is Lomua. Um, yeah. So I've got a fucked last name. And to hear these people who have obviously, most of the time, they don't know who I am. Yep. So to hear them go, Jared Lomua. <laughs> and I just go, eh, you know, it's close enough. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> um, but it before, was just so much fun, bro. Before games, um, obviously, each team kind of has their certain pump up thing that they do or whatever teams go mm. on three one two three fucking ravens or whatever yeah. their fucking team is um we had this one and we'd go i don't know if it was just a union thing but we'd all huddle up in a circle and then we'd go one two three squeeze and then when we said squeeze we'd all like scream it and then like squeeze in it as a group and we'd do it like three times at uh, three times mm. by the fucking third one i was ready to go out there and take some cunt's head off i was that fucking pumped up like i feel you yeah. Um, did your teams ever do a certain fucking thing before games or? We were pretty basic. We did the, like, there was obviously like a one, two, three, kill cunts and shit yeah. like that. Um, I think Kane Evans got in trouble for having that written on his arm or something yeah. like that. But anyway, yeah. uh, or, and then there was just the basic one, two, three, whatever team you play yeah. for, just like mass, like yeah. Mustangs or, or Hornets, whatever it yeah. may be. So it was Charlotte like, we Hornets, had basic shit is. like that. Yeah, Charlotte Hornets. <laughs> um, so it's like, that was kind of what we did. Another yeah. underrated moment, though, in football. I don't know if you can agree, but it's like when you're like having halftime hits, you have your team huddle, and the coach is like going, yep, 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 this is done well. And then he'd go, Jared, the hard running from yeah. Jared is what yeah. we like to see. Or well, that hit from Jared at the end there, that's yeah. the energy we want to see. That's when I'm like, yeah. 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 Um, I love that. Have you ever won a game on the siren? Like your team won a game on the siren? I don't think I don't think I've ever won a game on the siren. I've lost a game on the siren. Yep. Um, but I've never won a game on the siren. We um, I don't know if I've told you this before. And also, there's probably a lot of people that couldn't care less about footy, and we're talking about it, but we're having a good time. So who cares? That's what uh, we saw there, bro. Um, we were playing um our rival club. Um, we played them because club footy is all weird. They, I don't know, they're weird. Um, so we played them one week. Uh, we got beat 52-5, five because it's yep. a union score. And then we had two weeks off and then played them again. The reason we had two weeks off was school holidays. We're under 16s or 17, so that's why. And, um, yeah, so after getting beaten by 52-5, um, we came out two weeks later and beat them 7-3. They kicked a penalty goal with about 10 minutes left and we all um, dropped our heads or whatever. And then fucking, I can't even remember his name. I think his name was Regan or something like that. Um made made a break because we weren't fucking we were playing really well defensively but we're just hanging on like we weren't really throwing much in attack and um yeah we, he just got past the ball ran 50 fucking scored oh, yeah. and the second he scored the siren went siren went off and fucking the whole team i kid you not fucking jump on him and shit and then in the fucking sheds after the game singing the team song bro my voice was gone for like a week like i rocked up to train and my <laughs> voice was still going there fucking water flying everywhere it was just fucking yeah, and then we yeah. played them in the prelim and um, they beat us by about 40. So, um, hey, dumb mother, dumb mother, we don't talk about that. <laughs> we beat them that one. They went on to win the grand final and we beat them during the season. So, technically, won the grand final. Bro, you, you basically won it. Um, yeah. But no, man, that's basically our little sports segment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry if you don't, about. couldn't care less about sport, but um, yeah, no, that was good. Yeah, man. Um, another thing that happened for me this week, I got my car cleaned. Okay. So, I brought. I basically. I have a. I want to. I have a brand new car, um, like twenty twenty one, 
Yeah. Like it's got less than 10,000 Ks on it type car. Yeah. So these cunts I'm going, oh yeah, it's a bit dirty. Um, like the outside's dirty, things like that's chilling. And these people inside and out detailed my car for 45 bucks. And they were yeah. like, yeah, bro, listen, your car has the worst carpet I've ever seen. And I was like, what? Bruh. Cause they're like the carpet on my car is just like, it's so like shit thin. Yeah. And then they were like, yeah, it's like, they were like, it's not your fault. It's brand new cars. They have these like shit carpets on them. Yeah. Um, you should get mats. And bro, I hate when cunts talk shit about me, about anything I do. Yeah. I went and bought mats that day. I got up back to my office and I fucking bought mats on fucking super yep. cheap, sent the thing to the car, said, go pick them up, bro. Yep. I was like, I need these mats. Well, the and then there were one of these yeah. like, they cut your own mats. Like, you know, those ones where you like have to cut them and then like yep. fit them in your car. See, I can't be fucking measuring shit. So I just like fucking prayed. And bro, there's a, one of them is a bit thin. But that's when, it, when it comes to just setting shit up and cutting shit and just, I don't know. I can't do it. I can't fucking set up a tent. I like basic human fucking skills when it comes to fucking setting up a cupboard or something like that. Setting up a bed. Like, who fucking has mm. time for that? Like I'd rather mm. fucking, I don't know. There's cunts that you can pay to do that. Yeah. It's like cooking. I mean, obviously a home cooked meal is awesome. There's cunts that are paid out there to cook your meals. So I see, can... I'm terrible with. Jared's gone through puberty, everyone. Sorry. Gone through that. puberty. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm terrible with cooking, man. I'm yeah. absolutely dreadful. I got frozen meals in the freezer and I'll eat them. Yeah. But cooking like a fucking homemade meal, I'm just like, I very rarely do it. And yeah. when I do do it, Nicole's like, all right, this is what wrong. do you want, bro? <laughs> what do you want? Yeah. And then yeah. I'm packing cheeks and I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> um, but- I don't know how long we've been recording for, but. For a while, at least 30 minutes. Yeah. Um, we can go for about another More 10 or... Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll go, go for another 10. Yep. Um, um, do you want to kind of mention what you... Any plans for the channel you've got coming up or kind of made um, that evident? Oh, I can touch on basically what I was doing yesterday. The reason why I was so dressed up. Yeah. Um, so I was at... Uh, I work for a, a semi-big company. Like, I, I, I'm not going to go into detail and say what, but we're like a company that makes bank like we yeah. make m- like millions of dollars a year um now basically i was at a uh, my boss calls it a networking event so it's just a bunch of rich cunts come up and they like talk to you and just be like hi who are you like what yeah. do you do like shit like that and then like get each other's numbers and then like network with each other you know and then yeah you go to their events and shit like that i had a lady come up to me and i fuck you not i'm terrible at this shit Obviously, I look the part. I'm wearing the suit. Yeah. I'm wearing, you know, all that. I actually am wearing Jordan 1s at the time. So I wasn't really looking at Flash <laughs> down below. But, but um, so, like, this lady comes up to me and she's like, hi, so I'm blah, 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 blah. Uh, this is what I do. I don't know what the fuck you do. I don't know what that means. That's a big yeah. word. I don't know what the fuck that is. Yeah. So it's like, I'm already confused. So yeah. I can't bounce off that. I can't be like, oh, that's a busy field. Because if she said, I work with fucking dead people, yeah. I'd be like, oh, that's busy. And it's like, well, not really. They're fucking dead. <laughs> um, but it's like, I just, I can't continue the conversation because I'm just, I'm a smart individual when it comes to my work, but I'm a dumb cunt outside of that. Yeah. Um, so I really struggle in that sense. And then that she was like, so what do you do? And these are millionaires. Yeah. Like millionaires. Uh, I had one dude come and he, he drops like 10 million bucks in like six months just on shit. Uh. Um, so basically this these millionaires come up and she's like so what do you do and i went and i took i wish i didn't say it but i go (laughs) no i just go oh i do sweet fuck all eh?" (laughs) (laughs) i was like yeah i just sit there man i just sit in that office i just do nothing and then she like laughed but then was like kind of awkward yeah. And then walked away. <laughs> I was like, fuck. I was like, I can't do that with these people. Yeah. And then I said it again. <laughs> because it was just, I felt like this lady was a bit more with it, you know? Yeah. She's a bit younger. She's a bit more chill. And it, and it went down well. Um, and then, like, people were like, I'm somebody, if you met me in real life, uh, without me knowing you, I'm very socially awkward. Yeah, same. Um, and this lady was like, you scream confidence to me. Like, when you talk, confidence you are so confident yeah and i go i have fucking anxiety <laughs> yeah but, but yeah. you know do what you want but it's like when these people are like complimenting you it's like and i just i i 
bounce compliments. I hate compliments. I don't like when people give me them. I don't know yep. if you're the same, but I fucking hate it. Yeah. Um, and then my boss would like come over and be like, this guy, he's only 20 years old and he's doing this and he does this yeah. and he's getting this and he brings this much in and yeah. blah, 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 blah. Can you believe it? And then I'd be like, oh, you know, it's all about the training. It's all about, you know, the Ooh, people full credit to the from. boys. I was like, full credit to the lads. <laughs> um, and then like this, she was like, you can take a compliment, you know? And I was like, all right fuck you bitch I ain't fuck you bad. bitch i'm the best <laughs> and i was like you suck my dick man bitch <laughs> <laughs> but i don't know if you've ever done uh i don't know probably not but i don't know if you've ever been like this one of these networking events they're fucking no. awkward dude no i haven't been um yeah but what you were saying before about being socially awkward i'm the exact same when it comes to speaking to people i haven't spoken to before um and just kind of being around people um that i don't know fuck i'm a I'm a bit of a weird kind. I just say weird shit and just, mm. I don't know. It is what it is, but um, yeah. Oh, well. no, I feel like it's pretty normal, man. Like, but it's weird because I can do YouTube and I can yep. talk to people on stream. I have no issue because I'm talking, I feel like I'm talking to a screen. I, I, yep. I, that sounds really bad. Like I know these people are people on the end of them, yep. but if, it doesn't feel like I'm in like a group of people talking all at once. If I was in a group of seven, if like on chat, sometimes I have seven people talking at once. Like if I'm in a group of seven in real life, I'm not saying a word. Yeah. It's um, it's like if um so you're doing the stream, say there's seven people in it, um, you're talking to them, they're behind their screens or whatever. It's like comparing it to them if cause they're chatting with you on stream or whatever. It's like them sitting around your computer watching you play while talking to you. Like it's gonna be more yeah. awkward because they're right there. So Yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. Yeah. And I feel like they're clicking on the stream and, and this is gonna sound weird as well, but it's like I don't have to worry like, does this person like me or not? Because they're watching my stream. So obviously yeah. they're, they're probably like me yeah. um, or at least to, like me enough to be able to chat in my stream. Yeah. But it's the same. Nicole, she's a performer uh, and we went out to a party, an after party uh, at the end of one of her like contracts ended. And it was like, I was sitting around like a group of people and I was so awkward. I barely yeah. spoke. Um, yeah. But sometimes like, I think I'm a pretty funny individual in a sense of like, I can make jokes that will make people laugh. Yeah. And I'll hit one or two and it'll catch people by surprise. But it's like, if I don't hit, if I have my first joke doesn't land, you're not hearing from me the rest of the night, bro. What? There's something I fucking do when it gets real awkward. I'll just look at my phone every three seconds. Now, I don't want to be the type of cunt that seems like they're on their phone all the time. But hmm. I got invited to this um, party. It was like a birthday dinner. And yep. um, I had friends that were going. They rocked up about 30 minutes after I, um, I did. But I was there for a little while where I just didn't really know anyone. And I was yeah. like, just fucking looking around. And I didn't just want to go sit at a table because like cunts are already having their own That's conversations awesome. and don't really know me. So I just kind of just walked around the fucking bar every now and again, just looking at my phone, just praying Fuck. that my fucking mates would rock up. And Archie eventually yeah. did shout out to you, Archie. Um, Let's go, Archie. Yeah, Archie, fucking jump on the fucking podcast, mate. Bro, we need to get Archie in here one day. Archie, Ben, um, Brandon, Harry. Um, who else is there? I don't know. We'll figure out how the fuck. Bro, people. Harry could come in right now. Let's get this motherfucker in here. Get him in here. Uh, Let's get him in. Let me, let me fucking fix this cunt. I'm not walking over. How you liking the phone, bro? I'm fucking loving it. It took me a while. I've got the hang of having an apple now. Um, but fuck, it took a while. It took. Uh, Is it working all right? It's not, not yeah, got yeah, any no, issues? It, it's, it's working good. It's working good. Um, good if he doesn't pick up the phone here, then... We're just giving up. I mean, okay, it's not ringing. That's not good. Here we go. This has got legs here. Can you hear it? Yep. Harry. What? Do you want to say hello to my podcast? What? Do you want to say hello to the podcast? I like come into the computer room? Yes. Yeah, come in, come okay. in. All right, see you soon. Well, we're so, going to... Sorry, my podcast is getting their first guest in about three seconds. Oh, my goodness. G'day, g'day, g'day. So, hello. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Say hello to who? The Sorry Mum viewers. Oh, g'day, Sorry Mum viewers. We got the lads. We got the lads in here. Yeah. Tell tell us about yourself. Who are you? Who, why are you in Cooper's house? You got to give us the background, brother. Okay, so... Approximately 17 years ago, <laughs> yep. my mom decided she wanted another son because yep. she fucked up on the first one Oof. and uh, I was born. 
and I've been the favorite ever since. Yep. Uh, I got the uh, big room and I wasn't even there. Cooper lives in the cupboard under the stairs. Thank you for listening to the Sorry Mum podcast. <laughs> Enough of this guy. No, we'll get a bunch of, I reckon one podcast one day where we have like, it might get a bit overcrowded or whatever, but where we have just like fucking five or six people on at one time, we just talk shit and just, I don't know, we'll figure it out. There's big potential for this podcast. Yeah, bit of drink, bit of um meth, Bro, bit of us. Meth, um, that's the biggest one. Uh, look, you can never rule cocaine. it out. You can never rule it out. Um, yeah. Yeah, swear. I feel like that's where we'll probably end it. Um, yep. That was a good episode. I really fucking, I liked it. For a podcast, we didn't, uh, for an um, episode, we didn't really have any ideas for. That fucking turned out good. So, yeah. You see you all next week. talk about anything specific next episode, do let us know. Actually, yep. I should go into the comments. Comment of the week. That is right. Let's see what we got, baby. We got four comments. Let's go. Uh, Brandon comments, big juicy gamer moment. Ben comments, hey, I watched all of this. And Kyle Tinker says, I like this. Just feels like two mates chatting. See, that's what I like to hear. Because at the end and of the I day, also... that's, that's the approach we're going for. So, um, yeah, good shit. Yeah. Thanks. I commented, uh, go check out the original video on the main channel. You can find it in my featured channels tab. Uh, so do go, do go check that out. If you're watching this on the Jtronic YouTube channel, go check out the uh, the Sorry Mum podcast. Yeah, that's YouTube it. YouTube channel itself. Subscribe, things like that. And if you're watching this on the Sorry Mum podcast, go check out my channel and yeah. subscribe to my channel. Yeah, but, get Jared to 250 or 200. And let's get Cooper to upload uh, start a channel. Yeah. And I'll, yeah. I'll shout him out. Yeah, let's go. Um, yeah, that's where we'll end it. Thank you for listening. Um, thank you for supporting as always. Um, Jared, I'll quickly go on a little rabbit hole here. Jared and I kind of knew, well, not new, not in a confident way, but when we started this podcast, because um, we'd spoken about it for about a month before we actually did it, um, we thought it was going to kind of bang. And like, I know people probably think, oh, 50 views a video, that's not banging. But to us, to think 50 that's people amazing. enjoy our content, that's banging to us. If it can make one person happy, that's all that matters. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you next week. Peace. Peace in the Middle East, y'all.